something. Supposing you, you got in a lift, an elevator with, say, three guys, I'll pick names at random, Lord Lawson, Lord Pearson, and Mr. Farage, and you were going up four floors, and they're all climate deniers, climate change deniers. How would you use that 25 seconds? Would you not bother to speak with them? Would you try and convert them? Would you say you're irrelevant, or would you say, why don't you stop? I'm not sure I would think uh, I could persuade them, but I think that people like them should think about the fact when my grandma was born, 1901, we were just about one billion people on planet Earth. My children will be living in a world with nine to 10 billion people. Even if you don't accept the climate science, which I think is odd if you don't do it, but if you don't do that, wouldn't you agree that to become more energy and resource efficient, that would be a wise strategy for the world in the 21st century? How can we raise our collective level of ambition with respect to climate change? Go for more. I think that the minute we start to understand that to continue business as usual comes with a price tag, then it might be wiser to spend some of the money in investing in, in a more clever future. And somehow, you know, I had this uh, experience at the World Economic Forum in Davos this year at the traditional leaders' lunch for heads of states and finance ministers and what have you. Jim Kim, the new number one in the World Bank, he was asked to give his view of the state of the economy in 2013. He had 10 minutes. Seven out of those 10 minutes he spent talking climate change. He said, guys, you have not understood. Climate change is not an environment issue. It's an issue how we tackle this will define our economic growth of the 21st century. In the room, you had the IMF number one, Christine Lagarde, echoing exactly the same message. And the whole thing was moderated by OECD Secretary General Guerrier, echoing exactly the same. I believe when the key economic institutions start to understand that climate change is not an environment issue to be parked in a corner, but it has to be sought into our economic growth strategies, then something are starting to move. Are there things we're doing now that we didn't do in the run up to Copenhagen? I think that what might be different is that we have seen more and more things happening in the real world around us. So in that sense, there are more governments today who realize something has to be done here. Just recently went to the Philippines. We have not even heard about it in Europe. Uh, some days in, in uh, August, 80% of Manila was flooded. It's a city of 20 million people. 20% of the city was flooded like this. We're talking about millions and millions of people living there. They say there, wow, what used to be every 30 year, now it's every year. And it's harming whatever we're trying to do in this city with so many people. So it's just one example that I think that more and more governments start to think about this, wow, Business as usual cost us a lot. Maybe we should engage a bit more in finding an international framework and engage in finding our own solutions. So justice, in a way, is something which you add on to delivering a fair opportunity for Europeans to live. And so doing good outside follows doing good inside. And so to work, as I understand what you're saying, climate change policy needs to meet the demands of the Europeans and those outside. I just said that's a reality if we yeah. do it in a smart way. But that does not mean that we would not in any case have a special responsibility because we have contributed to the problem. goes without saying. I'm just saying it's not yeah. just about, oh, we should give that to others. No, if we are smart, we could improve our own macroeconomics. We can actually create jobs here in this sector more than in so many other sectors. So there are some co-benefits and maybe that would also help globally. If we were not always talking about this as who must take which burden, mm -hmm. but also who will have what kind of opportunity. The benefit.